And happening tonight, a series of events has now led the Buffalo Police Department to suddenly change one of its policies. Officers are now no longer required to display their name badges. Less than a month ago, when it was against department policy, police were covering up their names when they were at protests. And then that caused many activists to raise some concern. Why do police get to hide behind a veil? Right? They already have qualified immunity. We already have Judge Sedita who was blocking the repeal of 50A. That means that we don't get access to disciplinary records of police who are, are bad actors. And now the mayor is taking it one step further. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller goes in depth with a closer look at this policy change and why police say it is a change that had to be made. Protests for racial equality have erupted across the country and in Buffalo several times this summer. Police becoming the target of protesters' frustrations in demonstrations in Niagara Square. But some are taking their frustration online to a level that can rise to be criminal. In the last a couple of months, we've had a number of officers who have been doxxed. Uh, that's the practice of listing all kinds of personal identifying information about officers and their families on websites. It's a term called doxing, which is causing concern in police departments across the country and here in Buffalo. Most of those websites contain very threatening language, threatening the officers, threatening their family, threatening their children. There's things being said that I could not talk about on, uh, public TV broadcast, unfortunately. That, that's how vile some of the stuff is that has been posted. And it's uh, information, as I said, it's personal addresses, where their children go to school, the names and ages of their children, things that they want to do to their kids. It, it is absolutely disgusting what steps some people have taken in terms of attempting to harass police officers for doing their jobs. And that led to this. Police officers during a protest on Hurdle Avenue in early September putting tape over their names in order to prevent doxing. At the time, it was against the Buffalo Police Department policy, which stated officers must prominently display their names on their uniform. Mayor Byron Brown, September 2nd. Police Commissioner Lockwood and his management team have made it clear to our officers that they cannot violate the uniform policy. But it is also important to note that individuals who are looking up people's names and addresses and homes and where their families live and calling in threats to people, that needs to stop. So when 7 Eyewitness News received photos of Buffalo police officers once again covering up their names during a protest in Buffalo, we asked questions. It is my uh, knowledge now uh, that the policy of the police department has been changed uh, for police officers to wear a badge on their uniform with a badge number as opposed to a name. We weren't aware of it though given that you know you held a, a news conference about this very problem two weeks ago. Why wasn't the media notified of that? I, I did not I did not make it public and the Buffalo Police Department did not make it public. The policy was amended exactly one week ago on September 18th. All officers will now wear badge numbers instead of names. In terms of transparency, if a, someone has a complaint about an officer, how do they go about making a complaint or identifying that person? Sure. I mean, it would be the same way that they would if the name tag was visible. They can utilize the number that's visible. They can ask the officer for their badge number, which the officer, by policy, has to divulge to the citizen asking for it. In terms of Internet doxing and harassment? Um, I can tell you, without getting into specifics, that it's at least well more than a dozen officers that have had threats. It's one thing to mention an officer by name. It's another thing to provide personal identifying information about the officer addresses, as well as family members' names, their addresses, telephone numbers, things of that nature. Mayor Brown says in some cases, some of the people who are doing this aren't even from our area. Buffalo police are taking this extremely serious and say many of the officers wanted this name tag change. Buffalo police are pursuing charges and investigating each of these cases, and the Erie County District Attorney's Office is also investigating. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.